Hey guys, what's up? And this is going to be my first official video. Um, <laughs> I had, you know, a snapshot review as my first video. I'm not sure how many views that's going to get. But I want to start this series, and hopefully this video won't be too laggy. Um, this map I made, as you can see here, pretty big, so there's lag expected with this. Um, I'm actually going to tune down my settings just a little bit. Maybe make the FPS a little bit better. Let's just tune down some... Actually, I like some millennium. Let's tune down... Um, let's just turn the grass down to fast. That should give me the FPS I need. Okay. Uh, actually, now it needs to re-render. Dang it. Oh, well. Anyway, I want to start a pretty awesome map-making series. Now, a lot of people, um, mainly my friends... <laughs> And me, myself included, um, I kind of like to admire the stuff I make sometimes, just because it turns out really cool. And um, I know that I need to do a lot of work to figure out exactly how I'm going to be doing things, improve my map making skills a little bit, my Minecraft skills have kind of depleted as I've been ignoring this game for a while now. I mean, I haven't really been doing anything very creative in this game for a while. I've mainly just played, you know, survival on... Actually, no. What am I saying? I've been playing servers and almost no survival whatsoever. So I want to start some survival, you know, Let's Plays. Um, some other games too, but I really want to start this map making series because... Well, actually... Ah, Minecraft Muzak. Two. There we go. Okay. So... As you can see, this is a map, and it's pretty big, and what I wanted to do with this map, and this has kind of been sitting in my uh, server folder for a while now, and I'm actually I'm actually going to, uh, I was debating if I should do it uh, on a server, I might still do it um, on a bucket server, but I get more lag on a bucket server, and I can only record at, as you can see, it's it's dwindling at 30 frames, I hope, hopefully this laggy won't Hopefully this video won't be too laggy, but um, but I might just uh, install World Edit in single player commands and just use that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how Voxel Sniper works, so I'll just leave Voxel Sniper alone. There, I don't think that there is a client version of Voxel Sniper, so but it's fine. I don't need Voxel Sniper. So anyway, there's a creeper up there. What is this? You may ask, and. Uh, you know, at first, I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with this either, but now I do. This is going to be a survival... Whoa, lag. You know what? Uh, smooth lighting. Eh. Okay, 50 is okay. And, ah, re-rendering. Anyway, this is going to be a survival games map, and as you can see, this is sort of strange for a survival games map, because if you've ever played on the survival game servers, or if you actually have just played with your friends or on some other servers, you know that usually they're outside and actually there, there really aren't any underground ones that I have seen. Some of them have underground parts, but they're mainly outside. And this one I plan on making completely indoors. Now this is actually based off something. Um, this is based off of a show. It's 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 very roughly based. It it really is. Um, this is a warehouse, obviously. It's got shelving. I might redo the shelving a little bit. Not sure. Um, as you can see, it's kind of dark in areas, but that's pretty cool. That's a cool effect. And um, this is like a little catwalk here. You've got stairs going down, being held up by these giant. Uh, whoops, fell off. By these giant, you know, uh, supports, supporting beams everywhere. Uh, it's pretty cool. It took me a while to get this far. And uh, lots of world editing, as you can tell. Lots of stack item. Or stack command, I should say. And, um, and yeah, basically this is going to be my very first map. I've made a couple before, but I never really completed them, and I've never uploaded them online or anything. And, uh, frankly, some of them even got deleted. But, um... But this one I want to finish, legitly, uh, and actually get it done. And yeah, oh, 
and lag. Um, this one, I do have some lag problems with when I'm recording. When I'm playing on it and, ma and I was making it without recording, it was really nice. So, just to let you know that this map is quite something to render. And uh, I've added these sort of side things, and that's because um, I've... This, this whole thing is uh, perfectly symmetrical. I measured everything out. Uh, everything is exactly where it should be. Um, these are going to be hallways going to different uh, sectors or areas, I should say, of the map. Um, it's it's going to be really cool. I mean, basically the theme of this map is going to be... Uh, whoa. The theme of it is going to be sort of like an abandoned warehouse where the players are kind of thrown in and I want to put traps, lots of traps, yes, lots and lots of traps, but I want to put traps and not only do I want to put traps, but I also want to put some clever little things here and there. Um, eh, eh, what can I change here? Eh, not much. Okay. Anyway, you guys can deal with lag. But, this map is quite something. I mean, I like it the way it came out so far. I might change the variety a little bit of the wood. And these shelves are empty right now, but I'm going to be putting chests here and there. Uh, there's going to be chests spread out, but mainly they're just going to be different colors of wool and block and wood. Just to look like, you know, different random items on shelves. But as I was saying, this is based off of a warehouse from a show. Uh, the show is called Warehouse 13, so I really like the design of the warehouse, so I tried to um, work off of that a little bit, add sort of a um, creepy, sort of empty warehouse feel. Uh, it's a very bright warehouse, though. It's not very old-looking. I was debating if I should make it old-looking. So in here, and uh, so some mobs down here, too. This is where the... Uh, starting area will be the cornucopia some would say and the chests are laid out as such um, around this center pillar and then there are pillars all around here now this map is going to be uh, mobless M um, most survival game servers do that now where they don't even enable mobs um, there's 24 of these uh, starting areas um, most uh, sir, actually, no, all maps that I've seen, I haven't seen any maps that do this, have this uh, raised area. So, like, players can run off, but the plugin that they use would obviously force them back here. But I haven't seen any that adds this lip. What I mean by this is this lip sort of prevents players from just sort of running off at the beginning, you know. Um, if they sort of run off of it, uh, sometimes it'll stop them. Um, see, like that. Um, but it, it sort of helps slowing everybody down at the beginning. Uh, you could, you could jump out and speed yourself up. I mean, it won't stop you completely, but it sort of helps keep everybody starting, you know, at the same sort of speed and level and not people just kind of sprinting off and heading toward the chests. Now I'm debating putting like an area still between like water or something here. I might do it sort of like a cracked cracked a ring around here that goes really deep, but I was, I don't know, because if I do that, you know, if a player falls down there, you know, how are they going to get back up, or if I flood this area here, like, in with water, not the area, but like the crack, if I should uh, you know, flood it with water so they can swim back up, but, you know, it would take ages for them to come up, eh. anyway, so, um, half of, there's four exits, now, these exits are sort of dangerous, and what I mean by that is 24 players have to filter through these tiny exits. So I might change that, but I don't know, it, it adds sort of like a challenge at the beginning where you kind of have to escape live. Usually that's how survival games end up, or half the players die at the beginning. Half of them lead out through like the side pillars, because this is more of a re rectangular area than square. And half of them lead into these areas here. Now I had these, uh, I love this so much. I love the shading uh, glitch. Adds such a cool effect. But yeah, um, this is a very dark area and occasionally you'll find glowstone, um, little boxes, crates, glowstone on the inside. 
light up the area a little bit. And um, yeah, so you kind of have to, you can just spread out the edges, but you know, the sides, because you can exit that way anytime, but there's sort of a way to uh, go through it um, this way as well. And I'll put chests. I'll put lots of chests here so that it'll actually, you know, sort of bring players in here, and I expect a lot of people to have some uh, some battles in there. That'll be pretty fun. So yeah, these edges, I, want, I was debating if I should just keep it that size, but that's kind of small in my opinion. So I wanted to make them bigger, and, um, oh, I never actually completed this area, these areas. So I want to make, you know, like, uh, is that the same height? It's, uh, I don't know, these seem kind of, yeah, those, I, th I think those are the same height. So yeah, there'll be, um, areas to go to. Um, I think most of these doorways will lead to the same areas, but some of them will be, uh, sort of separate than the other ones. And some ideas I have for this map are a, uh, a sewer system, a experimental area, and I have a lot of ideas for that, and the sewer system, so the, I, I've got like a ton of little ideas, but the main one that I want to add is the sewer, sewage area. And I want to add a very extensive sewage area, sort of like a maze even, um, with different areas, and I want to make the sewage system basically lead to every part of the map. I want it to be, you know, you be able to get anywhere from there. So you don't actually have to go to places from this uh, above area, you can actually go through the sewer system. And that just, I, I mean, I really want to do that. But one thing that I want to implement in the sewer system is the ability for a player to uh, be able to flood the sewage system. And to do that, he would have to do a couple of things, you know, flick uh, some redstone in different areas, and then eventually, you know, once all of them are activated, I'll make uh, pistons extend, and, well, actually, I need to figure out a really good way, because with lots of pistons comes lots of lag, as most of, most of you know. So, I'm going to have to figure out a pretty, uh, pretty good system without having to put too many pistons down. And then basically flood the sewer system so that no one can get air and you have to kind of, you know, get out as quickly as possible for it before it completely floods. So it'll be sort of, you know, area area by area it'll flood. I'm thinking more of the center to like the outside so you have a chance of escaping because if, you know, if it starts flooding from the, uh, from the actual exits, you re then you really have no chance. But, uh, but yeah, so I want to make it flood so you can sort of try to flood the entire area, so that'll be fun. And yeah, I, uh, it's pretty cool actually, I really like it, and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty sad that I've abandoned it for that long and never finished it. So I'll just quickly show you the outside, and then uh, in the next videos that I will make of this map, I'll actually be continuing it and uh, building it. I, uh, I, I think I'll do some building off screen. As recording on this computer. Well, recording is the problem, which is rendering it afterwards, because Fraps records at like 30 gigabytes for a 20 minute file, and I mean, I don't need that. I mean, you know, you have to, you have to convert it down and render it or edit it. I, I was using, uh, that. I should I'm going to restate all of that, sorry. Um, I'm using Premiere Pro to edit this, so you can see here. Just the outside, so half of it is exposed, half of it is this, uh, see, I made like a desert area, half of it is uh, covered up here. But I used Premiere Pro, I used Premiere Pro to, Pro to edit the first video. It took me, uh, I'm still wondering how I'm going to edit this, I mean, I might use Premiere, but... I mean, I tried Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas is just as bad as Premiere Pro, so I just decided to stick with that. And um, and I like the way Premiere looks better, so I, I'd rather have a better looking program. And I know it's more complicated than Vegas, but in my opinion, Vegas is, you know, sort of, I don't know, I just don't like the way it is. I like the Adobe version better. The Adobe editing program. So anyway... Uh, 
rendering videos takes absolute ages on this thing. And uh, hopefully I'll figure out a slightly better way, but right now um, I even made an intro and stuff. And if I add that in, it adds like a re an hour to the rendering, so I just decided not to do that. So anyway, enough of that. This is it so far, and I really want to start this map making series. And I have a ton of ideas, a ton of cool stuff I want to do. Yeah, it's awesomeness. So this is the first map I want to get done, and I've got a lot done already. So other maps I'm going to obviously start from scratch, you know, from the beginning. But this I already had, so, you know, might as well finish it. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, you know, like the videos, watch these 13... Watch my 13W01A uh, snapshot review. I'll be making snapshot reviews every time they come out. And I really can't wait for that update. Because it's awesome. Awesome sauce update. And yeah. So uh, I'll be making a ton of videos. Subscribe.